So today we are going to be looking at how to insert these um, 3D holographic eyes by Dark Side Crochet. Um, it's important to do it correctly as it means it's going to look better and also be safe. The eyes need to be sitting flat against the work and if you don't push them in enough the eyes sort of just sit here against the crochet and stick out. The only thing you should really need um, are some normal pliers. Um, you should need to buy any sort of fancy uh, things to push on with or anything like that. This should be fine. If you do struggle there are some sort of like tips that other people have used by uh, boiling the backs first so that the plastic is soft um, and then you can you know push them on easier. Uh, but you shouldn't really need to do that. You should just be able to use these as long as you get the right leverage with this Which is what I'm going to show you in a second then it should be fine. So I got my 3d sinker eyes from dark side crochet um, She does a lot of different colors Here are a few lots of different sizes as well um, And I'll leave a link below if you want to check those out So once you have your work <clears throat> you're going to want to pop the eyes in wherever the pattern says. Now the posts the posts on these can be quite uh, big, which is fine. All you're going to do is um, take a bigger crochet hook, find the hole you need, push it through and wiggle it round a bit and that's going to make the hole bigger so that you can pop your eyes in easier. So once you have your eyes where you want them, um, Take your time doing this, you know, make sure they're even, they're on the right row and uh, take into consideration that when they're pushed in and held flat, they are going to take up a tiny bit more space. So you might want to just give yourself a little bit more room. But you can see at the moment, this is what we're wanting to avoid them looking like. So once the backs are on, they're going to be flat against the work and sunken into it. Whereas at the moment, they're sticking out. Okay, so now for the next part, um, you're going to need to find a soft surface. So uh, your carpet, um, if you don't have carpet, then you might want to put like a rug down on a hard flooring or something. But carpet is going to be the best shot, so um, I'll see you down there. Okay, so we're now on the floor because this is going to be the easiest place to do this because you're going to need to put all of your weight onto these so you want to turn your work over find the post the back goes on this way down so that it like cups the back of the eyeball and you can push it on a tiny bit to start with and that's just going to stop it from moving about and do the same with the other one Turn the work over and just make sure they're still aligned. They look fine to me. So turn it back over and now we're going to properly sink them in. So take your pliers and put them so that they're resting on the top like this. And you want the leverage point to be super close to the middle. So you want to rest the middle of the middle of the pliers on the middle like that and then when they're in position you're going to push down here on the pliers and you're going to hear a big click and you'll see that it's gone down two little ridges and that means that they're now super flat Let's do the other one. So, pop your pliers on, slide them all the way to the middle, and your pliers are just on either side of the black part and the top ridge of the white. So, all the way to the middle, and then push down. You'll hear a click. 
and you'll see that's gone down two ridges and now the eyes are super nice and flat so a few things to remember before you pop these eyes in um, the leverage matters you need to go all the way to the middle of the pliers and you need to be pushing there as well you need to make sure you're putting it under a soft surface there's no point doing it on the table you're gonna dent the eyes or ruin your table or something like that you shouldn't need to use anything like a mole grip um, your weight should be enough you're basically leaning and just pushing and pushing all your weight onto them um, you need to make sure you listen for a click <clears throat> and it should be able to click down too and then you can always check and make sure they're you know they're sitting nice and flat as well i hope you found this helpful and um i hope it makes things a little bit easier see you soon